when I started Salix 12 years ago, my core philosophy and ethos was to create a, an environmental business with strong, sustainable principles that would really um, lead the market in innovation and in managing our rivers and wetlands in a far more environmentally sensitive manner. So Salix are specialists in soft engineering, in soil bioengineering techniques. Traditionally, our rivers are managed by placing concrete, large rocks, gabion baskets, long river banks to train and manage river flows. Soft engineering is more the principle of working with natural processes. Um, so we use a lot of native planting, a lot of natural fibres, which are biodegradable, to protect river banks um, and provide sort of good ecological habitats rather than passing a problem on downstream. So Salex views sustainability as, as core to our business ethos. It's something that drives the business forward, we don't follow. It's something that we think presents opportunities for businesses. A really good example of that is we grow a lot of our plants in uh, coir, coconut fibre, it's a waste from the coconut industry. And we don't just buy through a, anonymous third party suppliers, we actually go out into the villages of Sri Lanka, and we meet the people, ensure they're getting a fair price for their product, ensuring that the local ecosystems aren't being damaged by the plantations, that the, the coconuts have been organically produced. Um, that way then we can sort of hand on heart, and I can hand on heart, truly say um, that we're really working in a sustainable development principle. As an example of our commitment really to innovation and, and to driving forward best practice, um, we've got a product called a rock roll, which is effectively some uh, rocks in a net. It's used as a revetment along river banks and allows soft engineering solutions to be built off that. So we're doing research with Swans University looking at how we can modify that product so that it'll actually benefit local invertebrates in rivers and streams and allow vegetation to grow so effectively it becomes part of the soft engineering solution. We worked on a, a really interesting scheme uh, on the River Rue, a tributary of the River Severn in Welshpool. Uh, after the 2012 floods, uh, the river actually eroded eight metres in one flood event, exposing the main high pressure gas pipeline between uh, running through mid Wales near Welshpool. Um, Salix, um, the first sort of client reaction and, and reaction generally was to put hard engineering in to realign the river to protect this vital asset. Um, but we covered things slightly differently. We actually installed uh, 60 full whole trees with their roots along the river bank, along the river bed, to stabilise the whole river, um, whilst providing really good habitat for fish, for, for species such as trout, salmon, brook lamprey. Um, so we came at it from a very different approach, a very holistic, uh, innovative way. We also have a very strong design capability in-house, so we can actually go and do design and build schemes. And in support of those services, um, we effectively have internally the UK's largest native wetland wildflower plant production nursery. So we have a lot of these um, plants are pre-grown for river restoration schemes, for wetland habitat creation schemes, for projects throughout the whole of the UK.